Hundred years after the Titanic sank, its last remaining survivor, Melvina Dean, has died. She was 97 and died in a British nursing home just a few kilometres from where she boarded the practically unsinkable ship. Jay Luskin reports. Even the day she died was a little historic, exactly 98 years after the Titanic was launched. Melvina Dean wasn't quite born then, but her whole life was shaped by its fateful maiden voyage. Whenever I go, I'm surrounded by hundreds of people. And they said, oh, aren't you fed up with all these people? And I said, no, I like people, and I do. The Dean family should never have been on board. They had tickets for another ship, but the crossing was cancelled. Instead, White Star offered them third-class tickets on its new luxury ocean liner. But at just nine weeks old and its youngest passenger, Melvina Dean remembered nothing about the moment they struck an iceberg. And for years, her mother couldn't bear to speak about it. But finally, when she was eight, Melvina heard how her mother and brother scrambled into a lifeboat. Then her father lowered his baby girl down in a sack. He and more than 1,500 others perished with the ship. I do never look on the... Well, I occasionally look on the dark side, but not very often. There's a, a saying, can't be cured, must be endured. So I'm the enjoying kind. When divers discovered the wreck, Milvina was horrified at the thought of people poking around in her father's watery grave. She didn't like to think about his last moments, which is why she never saw the Oscar-winning film starring Kate Winslet and Leonardo DiCaprio. Keep your eyes closed. The two stars didn't take it personally, though, coming to Milvina's aid last year to help her pay her nursing home bills. Those bills of nearly $8,000 a month also forced her to auction the few mementos she had from the voyage. Though at least one item, a canvas bag from her rescue, was bought by a fan and immediately returned to her.